Broken Dreams motorcycle removal. Get it out of the shed. Make it disappear. Yamaha. Arago. Not bad. Brand new tire. Oh, gonna need it back. No. Spring is here, but ice and snow is still remains. At least uh, starting to melt a little bit. Oh, the working fridge. Riddle more. It's an oldie. It's clean. Said it works well. Look at that. You don't get chrome and wood grain on fridges anymore. Frigid air. Nice one. Well taken care of. Have to plug her in. Nothing on the trailer today. The scrap is showing itself from the winter. It's a rising stuff I left to get covered and frozen in the ground. It's showing itself. Late fall pickups copper forgot I still had this tractor so much snow had come off the garage and the snow was way 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 up and there it is old craftsman still sitting there I think the motor seized just scrap just didn't get around to it Ooh, got the old GT radials off the Astro van. That's right. 215 15s. Got the meats on them. Five lug. Well. Roadmaster and the Suburban have started to peek out. They're ready to go. Lots of ice still surrounding the tires. Spit its Christmas tree right off. Didn't like it anymore. So that's enough. Still, the Dunkin' Donuts bags remain all throughout from summertime cruising. Antique Auto. It's ready to tow. Suburban. Thick ice. Still needs to melt. Scrap wood showing itself. Seen a little bit of grass. Whoops. Oh, farm truck made it inside. Crawled out of its hole. What we got here? 
set of Iron Man. 235, 70, chunky 15s. What are those wheels from? Stevie, you know. Got a set of them. I'm thinking. Those could be the new Suburban tires. It's got 235.75s on it now, but I think these will work. And, uh, of course, no white letters out. Just a little black wall. But I think we'll uh, get these off, the old aluminums, and turn those in at 80 cents a pound scrap. <clears throat> And then we'll mount those up on the Suburban, I think. The summertime. Even got the old Uniroyal spare. It's like new. Same size, so we'll have a same size spare for the back. Ooh, you know what that wheel fits? Directionals hadn't been working in this truck for a year and a half. Finally got them fixed. Got all the lights working again. A few repairs here and there. It's ready to go. Frozen. in the box what's in the box what's in the box let's see what could be in this box Woo! could that be could that be a new set of head is for the old farm truck. Look at nice thick flange. Everything's in there. Comes with the nice gaskets, the metal ones. You got collectors, you got hardware. All the way from Ontario. Did some digging on eBay. Usually for a decent set of headers new, it's you're gonna pay near two hundred. Uh, I got these for a hundred and five dollars off eBay, shipped and everything. Hundred and five dollars came pretty fast too. They look to be uh, just what I need. I've said it. I've said it many times before in other videos, but. The headers I put on this years ago, probably about four years ago, uh, I thought they, I thought I had saved them. They were nice. They were hanging up in my basement. I thought they were for a C10, Chevy truck, whatever, Suburban. But pretty sure they're for a G body car because they don't fit too well. But I got them in there. They hit the, the uh, control arms a little bit, and also underneath, didn't really fit so well on the cross member, came right in the way, so I ran these custom flex pipes and all kinds of stuff to make it work. Well, they rotted away. Collectors broke right off, so pretty loud right now. A lot of leaks going on. A lot of leaks in the in the headers for a while, anyway. But the final draw was that collector on that side snapped right off. 
So, get the new ones on, get rid of the flex pipes and have no leaks and be running through those Jones mufflers again.